fucking. <laughs> no, there's the real players in the can. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad to see that it's Shulk. I don't know. I just. It's different, right? Like, we've seen Sora, we've seen it done. Nobody does Shulk here but Coyers. Yeah. And it's real fun to see. It's uh, it's nice to see some diversity and Shulk is no exception. I think maybe Aqua is also playing Shulk, but, you know, Coyers definitely in a good design, I think, at this level. Oh, uh, no. Commentator's curse? Yeah. Coyers. Uh, <laughs> Worst show I've ever seen. No. <laughs> Don't put that, please. Immediately did the zero to death. Yeah, no, that was an unfortunate SD, it looked like. Marfo are going to try to run with as much of this as possible. Marfo oh, yeah. pressure on in the corner again. What is Poyer to do? Good roll in. Oh, Poyer doesn't have a jump. Oh, looks like the young kid is back. Maybe. Where's my beer, brother? I'm back. I'm back. Oh, beer. You must have taken it. I must have taken it. We were getting hacked at the venue or something, so I had to deal with some cybersecurity threats. But we're back. I missed the end of John yeah. and John Spawn. Spawn uh, so John kind of clutched it out. Spawn mm -hmm. switching to Bayo game five. Not quite able to take it all away. Oh, man. Well, Spawn's got a chance at losers. But hey, game one, Carflow Poyers. Poyers making a run. He hasn't been around in a while. I think he's seated eight today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, three. Either three, three one, one or three owing. I think it was three one. Yeah. yeah. No, great sets, Poyers. You know, I was saying it earlier with Max. It's like a, definitely a hidden boss in New York, you know? Has the sauce, for sure. Yeah, 100%. That being said, this game is very aggressive, and Carflow is running away with it. 75% already added on. You're talking up Poyer's big game here, but Carflow is ready to run him over. What's it looking like? Trying to space three clusters, falls into the side B, but it's the weak kick, not quite going to kill it just yet. Down here, such a bit too far away for a follow up. Poyer is going to close out this stock right now, 130. Uh oh. Poyer's putting on some good pressure here. Ah, that was great. Laid it out the air dodge, found the back air. But does he have what it takes to close out this last stock? Does not quite do it. Roy Bear too strong. Roy Bear too strong. Coming in to close game no. one. Do you take extra knockback when Buster's out the same way you do when Smash is out? You take increased damage. Um, but not necessarily knockback? I'm not positive about any sort of knockback multiplier. Okay. I know with, with Smash you definitely take more knockback, but that's all I really know. Yes. Or at least you're lighter, something to that effect. Yeah, you get blasted when you have Smash on. Yeah, it's virtually like the same thing you have on also affects you, whatever it is. So when you okay. have speed on, bro, your opponent's actually faster. You fall faster with speed. Uh, yeah, you do. You're, and you are, I think both speed and jump, though all of them affect all of your things. Like speed also affects your jump and affects your knockback and affects the damage you take. Uh, it's a lot to learn for one character, you know? Yeah, so a good guy. Using some of that shield Minato to try to break out of the combo. Avoids a jab back here, but he's like three jabs in the process. So you gotta wonder what's more percent. That being said, Corey is trying to escape Carpenter relentlessly, putting on the pressure. Alright, Corey is finally finds something here. Oh, falling side beat, delays them all exactly perfectly to find the sweet shot hit. Oh, it's shield in the jab. Gets yeah. him out of the combo, but Carflow just keeping the pressure on. This is the thing we saw it before, but Carflow oh. keeps finding percentage. Oh. Yo, that was such a good punish. Like, just leans into the soft spot there and gets a conversion out of it three piece. This is part of the thing with Carflow, man. It's like, his neutral game is incredible, but his, his punish game is out of this world. It is. Oh, oh falls out of the second hit there. Switching to kill Donato at the last second. Unsure if it got up for the last hit. Carflow looking for the edge guard now. Nice find two frame with the Has the roll lead in, doesn't capitalize. Where says, get off. But back there, there it is. So essentially a full stock lead here. I mean, we are on the same stock here, but huge percent deficit. In. All right, yeah, that was going to on. Now it's exactly a one stock deficit. Yeah, kind of the same story as last game. Carpo is taking a lead, running away with it. Boyers has to work really hard to bring it back. 
Oh, he's locked. I wonder why I opted not to protect him there. I guess less punishable, don't go as high. I kind of liked it. It almost like set into a, a weird situation where maybe I'm like a, a tri-plat or something higher up. Right. Oh. Gets the shield out before side three can connect. Shoot Minato is cheating sometimes. You're a dead roar. Yes, you are a super dead roar. I actually almost did it die, but yeah, great right coverage. All right, jumps out, speeds out. Oh, back air, almost gonna seal the deal. Can Warriors find their way back? Oh, oh. God. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Very smart. Call out on the get up. Tech normal get up. It's a little F tilt. It's a little Roy sword slice. A little smack. This is nice. Carflow is so good at like reacting to your tech chase option or to your tech option, like so consistently. Just like the patience of getting in your face right there just immediately goes for the F tilt. Yeah. But a lot of times you'll see him get to that spot, pause, and then make a decision to go back, forward, stay in place to make the punish. Um, yeah. No, I completely agree. I mean, I think sometimes that's the power of Carflow is putting you in a tech situation, and then it's like. 50-50, he might just F-Smash you. You're done. Yeah. Like, you know. You're done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Carflow with the 2-0 lead. I mean, this is hard. Carflow steamrolls with momentum, so it's yeah. pretty hard when you're in a deficit to, to bring it back versus them. We're talking about gen right behind me. We always talk about the gen, but we don't talk about the car. Or <laughs> <laughs> you know, gen rolling up late today. I know. All right, I hope Jen can hear me, but <laughs> rolling up late today. Didn't get a chance to make it in a bracket. Tried to purchase somebody's bracket pass. <laughs> Tried to bucks. buy someone's ticket. Go! Nobody bit. Nobody took it. They're playing in an Ike only bracket right now. <laughs> people are like, I came here with a messed up L train only to sell it to them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, gotta make that money. Should have just. Somebody should have done it. Been like then, but yeah, if you win, you have to give me like half your earnings. Oh, true. People gotta think. Man. Yeah, you gotta think like a business. Jump but yeah, going into this game three now. I mean, we're gonna need to see some adaptation. What that adaptation is, you know, I don't think I know enough about Shulk to answer that. It's gotta be, in my opinion, because Carflow is staying right. Nice shield. That was a great shield. Is a little more grounded play. And just, just using against Carflow, he's so aggro. When you have your space, you gotta keep it with F tilt. You gotta keep it with F tilt and drift back there. Because against a Roy on the ground, and in the, if you're in the air, you're losing space. I like these falling bears. Those are nice. Keeps Carflow out. But. Yeah, it's creating some good space. Carflow's not really biting though, so it's kind of a good move for the moment. I like that switch to smash, falling off that flat to try and get that soft spot up there. I like the idea of trying to edge guard with the up there. I think that could certainly pay dividends. Yeah, if it's timed exactly right. So Carflow finding another in here, attacking on a lot of extra credit to right now. Speed Monado out, but not gonna help. Get sent off stage. That was strong hit. Carflow feed him for that air ledge. Lift grab. Find another jab back air. Three stocks to one now. Carflow's just under 100. This is a difficult position to be in. This is. Yeah, gotta close with smash on deck. You got up tilt, you got up B, but if they whiff, luckily no punish there. Cash attack does do it. Close off the corner. Looks like it might not have just barely enough on Smash. Oh. It's so hard when you're down because you, you need to whip Buster out. You need to attack on damage. But yeah. if you get comboed when you're also at zero, you're going to take so I mean, that's the double-edged sword of it all, right? Even when you take out Smash when I was you're like, man, I need this kill, but I could just die for doing this. Yeah. When I'm playing against a Shulker thing without Smash, I'm like, okay, I what's my dumbest knockback move that I know is going to work with you having Smash on? Yeah. Side B off the edge. Calls out the air dodge on a stage with jump in action. Carflow gonna take a split 3-0, baby. Loser semifinals of Brooklyn Lamb Brawl's number 50-63. I mean, Carflow playing great. Coyer is obviously playing very great today, but gonna end up at fourth. Yeah, good run to Coyer. I mean, we were stacked at 69 entrants today. Nice. Nice. Um, but, uh, we're almost at 69 Brawls. We're getting damn. there. All right, for, for Brawl 69, Bakili, is he listening? We're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna put thirst traps of uh, Sunny on oh the uh, 